Today, I'm going to tell you guys a story on how I slept on ice. Ice? Mm -hmm. On a river? Like About two years ago, my dad and I decided to go on a trip. We flew to a place called Sweden. The PewDiePie country. For all my non-geography mates, it's like right here, all the way up top. Thank you, Alex. I did not know. We didn't actually fly straight there. We had to take a couple flights, and our first stop was in the United Kingdom. Yeah. Yo, go back. <laughs> It's leave, leave. Like it? I was there for maybe a couple hours and it was the best thing ever. What? Uh, why was it? Why was it? Explain. As you might know, the drinking age in America is 21. Yeah. But the drinking age in the United Kingdom is 18. All <laughs> right. Oh. Oh. I see oh, where this yeah. is going. <laughs> so, you know, your boy had to go in and order some stuff. The funny part is that I was still scared to drink in public you know i thought the fbi was gonna smash the door and like take me in you know it's a standard business in the uk did they like eat biscuits <laughs> there or something well that reminds me since everyone was british that means laugh was basically everywhere <laughs> they're all laughs it's just a bunch of gas bags every single person was drinking tea like no joke every single person <laughs> and their teeth. <laughs> Don't even get me started there. <laughs> Dear God. I'm drinking tea right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after the pit stop in United Kingdom, it was time we landed in Sweden. And get this, when we went to Sweden, we had to go even more north, north. Like we went to a plane to Sweden and then we took another plane to go like to the very tippity top. That's high up. When we got there, I don't know if you guys ever flown in like a plane but usually there's this like tube that attaches to your plane so you can walk into the airport right yeah, yeah. not in this one as soon as we landed right they just kicked you out of the plane like there was a staircases and you were out in the open I i've had that you just stand on the airport like well not what the thing was is that like the airport was like at least a 15 minute walk and it was in the freezing cold but we weren't at our destination yet we had to go even further north we had to hop onto a bus and we rode on. But now where are you heading? All the way north, Lab. All the way? We're, we're basically going to the North Pole at this point. Santa Claus. Well, on the bus, this is the part where I realized I'd never seen so much white in my life. Everything was snow. The trees were covered in it. The cars were going through it. It was everywhere, but not a single snowman. What? No, what? no frosty. So you're probably asking, where are we going in the first place? Well, it's a place called the Ice Hotel. What? Frozen? Is he frozen? Oh my god. I didn't see you in the movie. This was no ordinary hotel. The twist was everything in the hotel was made out of ice. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Even the food? So what about your closet? Well, I, I believe that this has to be a lie, right? Not everything can be made out of ice. We got out of the bus. It was hard to see because there was like, you know, a, snore, a snowstorm happening. I couldn't wait to go inside, have some hot cocoa, snuggle up, watch TV. I reach for the hotel door. My hands instantly freeze up. The door? Made out of ice? How is that even possible? I, I walked inside. The floor, ice. The ceiling, ice. The chandelier, ice. The check-in desk, ice. The actual people, ice. <laughs> Even the cup drinks were made out of ice. But the people, what do you mean? The cups, you know what? what if you get a hot drink? The only thing that wasn't ice were the drinks as it was alcohol because now I'm taking a shot of because I regret this idea. <laughs> oh. But what if, what if one day, like it just all turns hot, you know, like summer just comes out of nowhere for some reason. Oh. I don't know, man. Well, the summer there would be like negative 20 Celsius. What so. if it turns into 100 degrees, man? It's all over, out of business. What if I come pulling up with two blow hair dryers <laughs> and I just start shooting? <laughs> two hair dryers. <laughs> Once we were there, the thing was, you know, we couldn't go to bed right away. It was the morning when we arrived because all the flights happened overnight. So it wasn't like we could go to bed now. So what are we gonna do? Turns out it's a little more than ice than at the Heist Hotel. What is this oak? Sled dogs. Whoa! What? Dogs that pull sleds. Isn't there races about that? Some people race with those dogs. Mm -hmm. Did you race? Oh. <laughs> Turns out 
in the Arctic climates, it's very popular that people sled with these dogs, like, pulling you along. At first, I was hesitant. I wouldn't want to be on a sled where, like, the dogs are forced to pull me. But after one look at the dogs, mm -hmm. they wanted to do this. They wanted to go fast. <laughs> you could see it in their eyes. They saw the Cars movie, all right? They, they knew speed. They didn't care. They didn't even care about the cold. They loved it, you know? When I got on the sled, I was like, yo. This is pretty cool. But <gasps> what I realized is that no one around me taught how to control the dogs, you know? How do I turn left or right? Where's the steering <laughs> wheel? I was about to ask the lady, you know, for help when she said, mush. mush. <laughs> oh no, mush. oh no. I don't know what these dogs are on, but this ride got like a thousand horsepower. We were moving. A thousand? Lamborghini dogs? Whoa. They're not even, they're not even horses. I was completely shocked on how strong these dogs were. I could barely hold on for my life. I had no idea where we were going. Like the dogs were just chasing the other sled in front of us. Turns out there's a brake feature, you know, where you can put a spike in the ground and it slows all the dogs down, you know? I didn't know that. <laughs> we were zooming. My dogs wanted to race, all right? Their eyes, you know, they wanted victory. We were passing people <laughs> left and right, man. We were zooming, okay? All I heard were people screaming left and right in different languages, like telling me to slow down or something, you know? I didn't know how to slow down. What was the opposite of mush? On mush, when I said that, they went even faster. <laughs> Why did you even say it? I, I don't know. In short, I ended up, my dogs ended up crashing into the sled in front of me, and then they started fighting oh, the other no. dogs in the sled. Uh, I got kicked out of dog sled. <laughs> and this is all true. Like, I have footage of all of this. They kicked me back into the ice hotel. Um, but it was still daytime, you know? We still had, like, six more hours before night. So, um, it was time to try something new. Snowmobile. Vroom, vroom. Blaza, this is, like, right up your alley. These are bikes but in the snow. Really? It was the coolest thing ever, you know? We had to prepare for this. Like, you couldn't just wear normal clothes for this. When you're in a snowmobile and you're moving like 50 miles per hour in negative 30 Celsius, you're going to freeze to death. We had to put on these big jumbo suits on. I thought it would be uncomfortable, but it was like we had a giant walking sleeping bag on. Hello, one. And now it was time to go fast. I hopped in my snowmobile, and luckily we had someone explaining how to use this thing. The difference between the snowmobile and the dog is the snowmobile, you know, you have control, but it's way faster. The snowmobile doesn't attack. Like over people. You would think, right? But I was in control. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. You know, we were going up downhill, but that's when the corners came in, you know, drifting like Tokyo drift. <laughs> and the important thing here is that I looked cool mm -hmm. for a couple seconds. Yo, I drift that so hard, man. I, I didn't even know it was possible to like turn over a snowmobile. Recite. I drifted that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I needed that thing to the side. So after getting kicked out of snowmobile class, we have no more activities. <laughs> <laughs> I got kicked out of two things in one day. We were supposed to spend like a week here and I already got banned from half the activities. You got banned from snowmobile riding. The same thing happened to me, but on a jet ski. It was finally nighttime. I had enough of the cold. I just wanted to snuggle in warm bed. Literally, our bed was a block of ice <laughs> what? what you're gonna sleep like a frozen turkey it's okay guys you know they gave us a pillow and a blanket you know we're <laughs> we're good then yeah i took off my shirt and i started running down the hallways you know chanting russian chants and stuff you know it was uh it was a good time <laughs> i crawled on slowly but that didn't really help you know i don't know if you ever had like direct skin touch with ice it sends shock waves all through your body I laid there, freezing, <laughs> thinking over my life decisions. It was, it was sort of nice because it was so quiet. Breathing in the cold air was sort of refreshing. I froze to death. That, that ended quickly. But ten. Oh, yeah. Heroes oh, you know? never die. No, I'm, I'm joking. All right. They came in the next morning. They dug me out like Captain America. And then that's how I told the story on how I became a superhero. Bro, he really did. He really did sleep on ice.
How much does a hotel like that cost? $600. Oh my. Oh, I thought you'd pay me nice cubes. <laughs>